It's time for Operation N64. What is up, my name's Brad, and if you're new to the channel, in this series we're trying to build an N64 collection starting off with just £10. By using our charity shops, our car boots, our Facebook marketplace, looking for stuff for cheap that we can sell for a profit to build a game fund to buy N64 bangers. So it's great to be back in the swing of things. We're out hunting again, uh, we're listing stuff and we're selling stuff on eBay, which is just fantastic. Now, as always, before we get into this week's episode, let's go through the updates to the game fund. Now, we left off with this much in the game fund last week and we've made a few sales. I listed a whole bunch of stuff this weekend and some of it sold pretty quickly, which was fantastic. Now, the first thing we sold was one of them Polly Pockets we picked up. I think it was Grandma's House. We sold that for £25 plus postage. We also sold Sold that sealed copy of uh, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. We sold that for $19.99, and that thing sold within like I want to say like half hour. So I'm thinking I might have undervalued it. I'm not too sure, uh, but $19.99 for that. We also sold a brand new copy of Monopoly, which we picked up. I want to say like in episode four, so a long, long time ago, we sold that for £10. Uh, we also sold a hardback graphic novel, uh, Scott Pilgrim, uh, volume one. Uh, we sold that for $14.99. Another thing we picked up quite some time ago at the car boot. And then the last thing we sold was a Sonic plushie. Uh, we sold that for £7. Now, after fees and everything, that's a grand total of this to add to the game fund for a grand total of this. Looking very healthy now. I couldn't be happier. But as always, let's get back out there hunting and see what we can find. Let's go. What is up guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Operation N64. Uh, now this week we managed to dedicate a whole day to game hunting, uh, getting back into the swing of things. And as always, I started off, as I always do, hitting my favorite place. Um, found one game in here. They had a big stack of Xbox One, but majority of FIFAs, and then they had a Fallout 4 in there. Um, a couple of different games that weren't there the other day, but nothing really worth picking up. Um, I always hit this place first. It is right on my doorstep and it's normally pretty good. They tend to put out games quite often. So yeah, I always check this place quite regularly. Uh, depending on my working pattern for the week, I'll check this place every day. Um, but yeah, uh, we had a little look here before we headed off to Klenechli for the day. Uh, this week, luckily, I managed to dedicate a whole day to game hunting. This is what I generally try to do. I try to do like a, a one day a week where I spend, you know, like a school time, like when the kids are in school, spend that day hunting and then the rest of the week just like when i'm doing other stuff i'll pop in here there and everywhere and uh, that's what i tried to do uh, so this week we went to clinically wanted to hit retribution but uh, ran out of time uh, a couple of ps4 games here uh, priced up so i didn't pick them up and then i saw this american chopper and i thought of my dad he loves his bikes um but i didn't pick it up in the end sorry dad I uh, saw a little box of games in here, all sports titles pretty much, um, so nothing worth picking up. Uh, this LMA manager, I thought it might have been the one, because one of them has a little bit of value, I think it's 2007. Uh, it's got more value on the Xbox than it does the PS2, but it trades in for a little bit on the PS2 as well. Uh, box here of like bags of toys, you know, these are the like two, three pound bags. You have to buy everything that's in them. And then my missus showed me this rainbow bright. I don't quite remember it. She remembers it, but the colors on it are pretty cool. Reminds me of that like strawberry shortcake sort of style. Um, yeah, cause it's cool to see. And then we went into this shop and I've had luck in here in the past. Uh, we asked the bloke behind the till, but he just showed us the games that were on the shelf. Uh, we were like, uh, any more games? He's like, yes, we have games. And he took us to the ones on the shelf. Should have been a bit more uh, a bit more specific when we were asking, but uh, hey-ho. Uh, yeah, a couple of games here. Nothing worth picking up, though. And then I saw this uh, Blu-ray box set, The Matrix, trades in for a fiver. They sell it for eight quid, but for £3.50, just wasn't enough in it. Uh, I couldn't get it cheap enough, a uh, nice little trade in there. And then I was telling my missus about this. I was saying, keep an eye out for Tots TV. 
And then we found a Todd's TV. This one's a mad one. Trades in for like 10. Uh, yeah, crazy value on that one. A couple games here on the bottom shelf. Uh, nothing worth picking up again. I mean, I find with Clinic that it's pretty picked through. You have to be quite lucky to find games here. Um, but uh, yeah. And then I headed to the Recycle Centre. I haven't been here for ages. Uh, it used to be one of my favourite places. They used to charge you a pound a game or regardless. Uh, then they started pricing the stuff up. And now they've gone back a little bit. They've got like stuff that's priced up. And then they also have a, a case here, uh, two pound a game. Uh, but the games in there are generally around that sort of, or sort of value. Uh, but if you're trying to find games for your collection, not a bad place to look. So guys, just going to go do a Marketplace pickup. Um, I saw this thing on Facebook Marketplace. Nothing crazy, but it's free. And we like free. So I'm going to go pick this up and I'll show you guys when we're back in the game space. Let's go. And we are back in the game space. And this week's been a bit of a funny one. We picked up a fair few bits and pieces, but we spent hardly anything from the game fund, which is kind of fantastic in a way. Um, I also picked up something last week, which I forgot to deduct. I picked up this snowman and the snow dog like a box set i paid two quid for it and i've already traded it in so including that and what we spent this week we spent a grand total of three pounds 70 so we can deduct that from the game fund but like i said we took that snowman and a couple of other things in the evil dead trilogy and that hit and run for the pc and we got a total of 17 pound in credit so we can add that to the cex fund not looking too bad at all kind of happy with where we are but let's get into everything we picked up to try and sell or trade so the first thing we picked up is this brand new sealed Fallout 4 for the Xbox One. I don't think it has a great deal of value and I'm kind of confused with it a little bit. Like it has nothing on the back. Surely it should have something, I don't know, some pictures of the game. Uh, and plus when you scan it on both eBay and uh, the CEX app, it comes up with nothing. So it does say not packaged for individual resale. So it's making me think this was part of maybe a uh, like a limited edition, a big box, or maybe came with a console or something like that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys know why it's looking like this, please let me know in the comments below. But for £1.50, brand new and sealed like this, had to pick it up. I don't know, might be able to make a couple quid on it. The next thing we picked up, now shout out Retro Rummage again. I've given him lots of shout outs recently, but I'm learning a ton. Uh, he picked one of these up from a car boot uh, not long ago. I remember watching the video and it's Tots TV. Random as hell, right? But CX sell this for £20. They give you £10 trading. It's literally one disc. I paid 20 pence for it, so not too bad. Nice 10 pound trade in there. Uh, yeah, keep your eyes out. Tot TV. I then picked up some VHS after not picking up the Princess Bride last week. I picked up some real random ones, they were like 10 pence each. And I saw this and I thought I love the cover art on it, the colors of it. It's no retreat, no surrender. Van Dam. <laughs> 10p when she saw me looking at the vhs she started bringing a ton out from the back and i kind of felt obliged to pick out a few more uh, so i picked up no the retreat no surrender also picked up batman forever i might give this to my brother he might want it as like a display piece or something because he loves batman batman and pokemon that's that's my brother's thing uh, so yeah maybe this is for you bruv let me know if you want it i also picked up this which i have on dvd but it is the lord of the rings the animated uh, film i believe it is the war has begun too great a matter for me. Give it to Smeagol. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness find them. I really want to watch this. I love the cartoon style. It's that proper old school cartoon style. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you guys have watched this. Uh, very cool VHS. Um, because I got it on DVD, I might sell the VHS on. I don't know. The next thing is this, I know what you did last summer, now I'm trying to look out for horror VHS and as you all probably know, they're the VHS to hold probably the most value is horror VHS, um, but I'm thinking I want to start collecting them, I know, Brad, you need to stop collecting everything, but there's something like after Halloween and watching a ton of horror, I proper got into it, so I'm thinking I want to start picking up horror VHS, <laughs> probably not a good idea, but anyway, not the best one, but I know what you did last summer. And then the last one, I never watched it, but my missus says it's, it's kind of a twisted film. Um, the Hand That Rocks the Cradle. 
yeah, like, I don't know, when she was telling me that, I was like, what? That sounds a bit weird, man. It'll be kind of, kind of messy, like. So I'm kind of intrigued to watch this one. And what better way than on an old VHS? And that's everything we picked up from the charity shops. Not very much at all. But let's get into this free ugh, Facebook Marketplace trade. Facebook Marketplace trade. Free Facebook Marketplace pickup. Now, it's nothing crazy, and I haven't really looked through it yet. Because it was free, and I, I saw from the pictures kind of what I was getting you know free man free i'm not gonna say no but there's a a ton of like wii games a couple of xbox games here uh none of them are like crazy valuable but we'll go through the the, uh, the games first before i show you what else is in the bag we can chuck this straight in the bin actually i'll keep the case we've got mario and sonic uh, at the olympic games we've got bully for the wii love this game man uh, Raven Rabbits Travel in Time. These games, you know, like 40 pence, some of them. Uh, the Simpsons game. This uh, Geometry Geometry Wars Galaxies. Kind of different. A Job Island. Here's a kind of decent one. Uh, House of the Dead 2 and 3. Uh, the Hip Hop Dance Experience. <laughs> Got My Sims Kingdom. Got FIFA 15. I'll keep the case on that one as well. Uh, we play. Uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. And Link's Crossbow Challenge. And one more is Minecraft. Always good to grab Minecraft, isn't it? <clears throat> and what else is in the bag? I'll show you now. Just looking. Oh, wait. What's this? We've got an official Wii steering wheel in black. Now it looks... It looks like it's not all there, but like I said, guys, it was free. I'm not going to say no to it. I'll take the cables out, but it is a Wii Mini. I never see Wii Minis, man. I've never picked a Wii Mini up. Um, yeah, should we see if there's a game inside? I haven't checked. Oosh! Wii Sports. I won't say no to Wii Sports. I might have an empty case for that, which is fantastic. See, it's always good to get a bonus game, and Wii Sports not a bad one. But yeah, a Wii, a Mini. I like the look of these. I prefer the look on these than to the white Wiis. Uh, but let's see what else. So, yeah, we're missing. So, we've got the power cable and the HDMI, is it? So, we're missing the sensor bar and a Wii remote. Um, but I think, you know, I hold on to this and we'll probably come across them somewhere down the line. I'm going to do a quick calculation to see how much this stuff is worth and how much it trades in for. So, yeah, I just priced everything up and CEX sell everything here for about £80 and uh, they give you about 52 quid in trading. Um, so, not too bad at all for something I picked up for absolutely nothing out of pocket. All it cost me was like a 25 minute drive there and 25 minute drive back. So, just under an hour's work for nearly £50 in trading. It's nice to pick up something again on Facebook Marketplace. It's been quite some time. Uh, but, yeah, that's everything I picked up to try and flip and sell. Just the one thing I picked up for the collection. Um, I don't know, I like the look of it. It is this Rocky, the Italian stallion, like boxing glove. Hi, my name is Rocky Balboa, the Italian stallion. This thing's kind of cool. I think it's going to look cool on the shelf in the games room. When the games room is finished, I want it to be like everywhere you look, there's kind of something cool or, or, or like nostalgic or whatever in like every orifice, every corner, wherever you look. That, that's my plan. And something like this would look really cool sitting on the shelf. Um, but yeah. That is everything I picked up this week. I'm hoping to pick up some N64 games soon. Um, we will see. Um, I'm obviously still trying to build that CEX fund up so I can get Conker's Bad Fur Day. And funnily enough, it's actually dropped down in price a little bit. It's dropped like a tenner. It's only £200 now for that game. Uh, boxed. So yeah, hopefully I can pick that up very, very soon. I don't think I'm far off. Um, in the CX fund. So yeah, guys, that's everything we picked up. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, be rad, stay rad. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.